Just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. He looks fine. Fat and scared. Until we collect our gold, at least. Hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best doors when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Good point, Beska. I have them sometimes. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To 800 gold dragons in our pocket. Well said. You're not that drunk, are you? Sorry. Fine, have it your way. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? from the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tizal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Beska, what happened to the last man who threatened us? I crushed his testicles in my fist. They made sort of a wet popping sound. Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is eight hundred. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Get 
give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valeria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell. And we're done with you, too. Tazal, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osinas! Bojos me no mi chahoso kisikas! This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me. Way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn them. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home.
so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. <laughs> Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a lord. A stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskin's oh, oh, oh. and you have the oh. fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have <sighs> Forrester dead. They're for... Leave. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <laughs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh, that was a sheep fucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? Oh, the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. <laughs> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No, Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Oh, you're telling me I don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Roderick, something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? 
Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. No tears. You're stronger than that. <laughs> It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Who do you think I am? I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. <laughs> Roderick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Khan. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate!
Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> It's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Finger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You thief! A raper. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. I never... Dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a He's run in a with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrester's Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. What? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. 
Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Go on then, my lord. Ridiculous. You're treating them like the wine guests. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you, I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Tell me, those have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Just handle it. We could keep them fed, or take away their wine. 
that'd be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before, and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard? Oh, 
The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend At this the girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lunatic. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes? What are you talking about? I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Well, I got sent in from... Who in Seven Hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? These two were arguing. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Crossfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Just sword. This one should do. 
I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Doing that all wrong. But we don't have these where I. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. Tuttle, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. Didn't think so. Now if there's nothing else you need... Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work.
It's not iron wood. Too hard to burn. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help? I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it... How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Didn't? And Kara defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Crossfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place.
I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... I was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. Honestly, I feel fine. I may not look pretty, but... I'm still myself. I'm sure it's worse than that. I know you too well. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me. They won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. Then your father is a craven. Roderick! If he'd abandoned... He's us. trying to protect his family. If I told him I thought this marriage was wise, he'd listen. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. But I have to be practical. Lena. It 
doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, it... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you've hurt Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Hall. But now I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So... If you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow. I know said. what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. We will not stand for this. What are you gonna do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick. <laughs> Besides, you just swore an oath to obey That me. was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way... My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man.
can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. I wish I could have killed them myself. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the nice watch. There were those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> you serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? It's important to House Forrester. Better keep that to yourself. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. 
glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. I'm here, but where are you? Hello? Where do you oh. think you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean... Now, if you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. No, I'm staying out here. Are you deaf? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. Don't tell anyone. I won't. 
everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Roderick! It's you. Isn't it? Roderick. They said you were gone. Ramsey Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't. Because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. I'm going to kill Ramsay Snow for what he did. That's enough. Your little chat is over. I will speak with my brother. I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to High Point right now. What? I have to go back? No. I want to come home. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick, are you going to forget about me? I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Mother. Come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me, just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was so brave. I never knew better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan. My little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task like a lord. He would have been proud. 